to Nache and Abiyah here on 2K Sports. From the attire to the food, the players' jerseys. Tonight, a celebration of the Latin culture. I'm Kevin Harlan. We've got Steve Smith and Greg Anthony alongside. And our sideline reporter tonight, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Chris Paul is still searching for his first title. He came close in Houston, but was traded. And by some, was written off as over the hill. CP said, I control what I can. That's preparing to play every night. Doesn't matter how successful my season was or wasn't, I'm always going to strive and push myself. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. A moment now to look at the year-to-year -year scoring output and how it has been trending for Lou Williams. And maybe it's shocking, maybe, no, well, maybe not too shocking, but the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. I'm sure it's something he's well aware of, and we'll see if that continues to be the case. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Young and Herter make up the back. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. And it's Capella in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Phoenix, Booker and Bridges are the wings. Jay Crowder out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Paul in at the point guard. Greg, we've got two terrific highlight-making teams, both athletic in so many ways. You know, it makes me harken all the way back to college and one of my teammates, Stacy Ogden, one of the greatest athletes I ever played alongside. Well, we're going to see a lot of his impact in tonight's game. And that one's good, Aiton. And a strong showing of physical strength there from Aiton. Defenders have their hands full when he's around the rim. Now, here is Young. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just a great hustle play there. Energy and passion. This is what you play the game for. Pass to Booker. It's not going to go for him. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. Here's Herter. Good on the three-point shot. Pretty much any type of jumper, Kevin Herter is proficient at it. That time with the stop and pop. Ball passes to Booker. Here's Bridges. Ball outside from downtown. Atlanta with the rebound. And going against Phoenix, their first meeting of the season. Now, here's Hunter. Defended by Bridges. Young outside. Up again, and it's put back up and in by Capella. Just has a nose for the ball. Capella, skilled at gaining ideal position for those offensive rebounds. Now here's Booker. He really played well in that last game against Charlotte. Looking to end the run. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. It can be a little disheartening when you do everything right and come away with nothing. Young from outside, and it's Aiton with the rebound. The Suns have gone just one of four to get this game started. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And the shot's good from Crowder. He's a power player. That's Crowder's game once he gets inside. Young passes to Capella. Collins looking around. Lob pass to Capella. 
up high to stuff the alley-oop. And this is the chemistry Capella has with his guys. Exceptional at feeling when to go for alley-oops. Well, John Collins has the potential to be a star for this team. Continues to be a powerhouse on the offensive end. He can tack from inside as well as outside. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Booker outside. Down to five on the shot clock. A lot of people bag on Young's defense, but he's sneaky and he has great anticipation. And you know what? He makes the effort. And Herter gets it to go. And Collins said so himself. He believes he'll be a max contract player when he hits free agency. You know what, G.A.? I love the confidence from him. And you look year to year, his numbers are improving at an unbelievable rate. He just might get that max contract. The pass to Herter. He dishes it to Hunter. The herder. It's not hard to see why time out, time they're out. giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And for a long time, Atlanta had been searching for a legitimate center. Seems like they found their guy in Clint Capella. Yes, and Clint Capella is limited offensively, but that's not his job. What Clint Capella does do, he does very well. He's a terrific rebounder, and he will have a lot of room to finish at the rim, as he does with power. And with the chance, let's take a look now at the numbers for Crowder. Putting up about 10 points a night, five rebounds, and two assists. Yeah, he's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. He's not trying to take over necessarily. He's just taking what the defense allows and contributing to the calls. And the wide open shot from Paul, and the Suns miss again. Atlanta with the ball. This run now up to 13-2. Pass to Young. The Hawks working the ball around. From the arc. They grab their own miss. And the dunk by Capella. And what a way to start this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now here's Booker. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And the shot goes in. The quick, clean shot there from Booker. Strong mechanics give him great accuracy. Here's Young. Nine-point game. Here's Hurdle. He's got seven. To the middle. Here's Collins. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Booker left side. Good work defensively by Capella. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. It's deflected. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. The eyes of Chris Paul. He's always had tremendous vision. Here's Young. Coming in off a 21-point game his last outing. Puts it up. A shot that time. Not on target. The Suns go the other way with it. He's kind of lost his way this period, having a hard time getting anything to go down. Booker outside. Three-pointer. Collins grabs the miss. Just doing the job on the backboard. Hunter, no one around him. That's in coming off the assist from Young. 
<laughs> defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Booker outside. Looking for Aiton. He gets it in there. Sweet find there by Booker. All eyes on him with the ball. And Devin understands that. That has a nice feel for giving up the rock. Young with the ball. One of the most consistent producers in the league. He's averaging around 25 and a half points a game. Here's Herter. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Now here's Aiton. A 14-point game for him in the win against Charlotte. Paul kicks to Booker. Drills it from outside. Booker's got seven. And really, Booker is as lethal as they come from deep. Can't allow him to get into a groove. And now the first time out called here for the Hawks. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA. You had to have some favorite players that you played besides and with. You know, it's a great call. And, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a few guys, though, will. So Gary Payton, I got a, a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. We, we, we used to go at it in high school. And it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court. That's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scottie Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years, but then having the opportunity to play with up close, uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. And the Suns with a completely new group on the floor. Oh, the lob to Gallinari. Very pretty alley-oop layup. And the Hawks lead by 11. Yeah, they, they have gone full throttle from the opening tip, showing no signs of letting up. Already ahead by double digits, trying to run away and not look back. Now here's Payne. Taking a look at his numbers, he averages about seven points a game. Passes it to Galloway. Another three for Phoenix. Here's where Galloway excels. Better off the catch than initiating. Williams kicks to Okongwu. And it's blocked. And they've come out with a take no prisoners approach on the glass here tonight, guys. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that'll give them a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. And here's Charlotte. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Eight-point game. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. And it was one of those games where it was just hard to get anything going. And you could see frustrations emerge. But hey, a win is a win. Sometimes you're not going to play your best. So you have to just gut it out, right? And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. Atlanta with the rebound. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. Uh, and in that one, I, I thought the guys were out of sync offensively. And on the defensive end, a failure to communicate. This was a brutal loss. You can point fingers in a number of directions. But the bottom line is, they just didn't have it tonight. Now here's Payne. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. Here's Gallinari, and he banks in the layup. Gallinari's got his second basket. Against physical D, Gallinari with the improved strength and body control to finish. Here's Payne. That's tipped to the left wing. Here's Craig. But they get it back. Misses the three. The Hawks leading by eight. Williams passes to Okongwu. Allen Ari down low. Some solid defense from Sharich. Phoenix has gone two of five from three-point land here in the first quarter. Craig kicks to Galloway. A 
block. It is good. Defensively, you know Galloway's looking for his shot coming off the screen. They gave him a little too much airspace. Boom. Now here's Williams. He averages more than 12 points a game. That's some dependable production. Here's Colinari. The shot comes out, so Phoenix will take it the other way. And they have a narrow edge here in rebounding early on, and you wonder what kind of a role that's going to play moving forward. Payne's shot is good. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Okongwu, the pass to going up. That's Gallinari again missing. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Now here's Payne. Dishes it to Sharnich. In the corner, it's Galloway. Pulls up on the wing. It's rebounded by Lou Williams. Atlanta leading by four. Gallinari in the corner. The dish to Snell. Alinari surveying the D. A floater. It's deflected. And you can't be careless around Sarge. When he's on you, he is looking to send that one back. And he's good on the three ball. 23 seconds left in the first quarter. And here is Williams. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Hawks lead by one. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Well, recently, Chris Paul talked about adding some levity to the game. It sounds so generic to say we have fun, but, like, we may lose a game here or there, but, you know, everybody's still, you know, happy for each other. You know, we're just trying to build. Yeah, from what we've uh, seen, Greg, these guys naturally get along. And you add in the guiding hand of Chris Paul. Uh, this team can beat anyone on any night because they're so connected. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter of play here on Noche Latina. Valenos. And when you consider how Atlanta is doing, your thoughts? Well, they use the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. You know this, the team that dictates the pace typically rules the roost. We see that here early on. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. Setting the floor for the Suns. Main out there with Carter. Then it's Johnson. Then there's Sharich. And it's Kaminsky in at the four-man position. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi was traded to the Spurs? That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers? Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit and, and I tell you what boy it, it can really transform a franchise's future now here's Williams he's been patient so far nothing on the scoreboard yet that's good from Gallinari on the assist by Williams that's just a seasoned move 
Great concentration from Gallinari, finishing through contact. Bogdanovich against Carter. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Pass to Okongwu. And he lobs it up toward the rim. Because he's so good at shooting it and driving it, defenses overplay Lou, leaving other guys free. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Bain looking around. A shot missing. Excellent D there from Williams. For Atlanta, they've gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Here's Snell. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. But they'll get another chance. Who's back up? And Williams with the nice bucket inside. Williams has got his first points of the game. Using his athleticism in the paint, Lou beats everyone to the punch. Carter outside. Charge outside. Shot clock at six. And the shot is good from Johnson. He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. So for the Suns, Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. Jay Crowder comes in for Kaminsky. And it's Booker in for Cameron Payne. And so it's Atlanta with it. So for the Suns, Mikael Bridges checked in for Johnson. And Chris Paul subbed in for Carter. Chris Paul. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Here's Hunter. Rebound by the Suns. And Smitty, if I'm coaching DeAndre Hunter, I'm making him watch nothing but tape of Kawhi Leonard. He has that type of body and can aim to be that kind of player. Gee, I totally agree. Both were lauded as mostly defensive players as rookies. Hunter showed he has some shiftiness to his game offensively. I think he has the chance to be on the same level at the end of the day as Kawhi Leonard. No harm in having that as a goal. So it's Atlanta now after the missed three from Jay Crowder. Capella dishes to Young. He sees the whole floor and he's making some quick decisions. Trey Young gets what he wants from the mid-range. And so Booker will bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. High offensive IQ. He makes great reads and adjustments on the fly. Now Young. Capella, high post. Back to Young. No good that time. Some solid D from Paul. 
and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, you were drafted 12th overall by the New York Knicks and then second overall by the Grizzlies in the expansion draft. So you've had a very unique view of being in that position in two different settings. Yeah, I mean, two very different cities, but really each beautiful in its own way. Uh, the, the New York draft, obviously coming out of college, that was like a dream come true to go and play for Pat Riley and, and then get the opportunity to go and be a part of a brand new team in a new country, if you will, was also uh, a, a really cool experience as well. I hope we can take a petition started by you and me to get the NBA back in Vancouver. I miss and going Seattle, to right? Let's get back oh, in both Seattle. those cities. Exactly. Exactly. Both good from the line that time. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum now here is young Collins passes to Capella kicks it out to Collins clock at four here's Herter defended by Booker Herter no good Suns leading by four Bridges dishes to Crowder Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Collins. The contributions from Jay Crowd are extremely valuable because of his defense, toughness, and switchability. the first one at the line is good. And both free throws good from Crowder. Young with the ball. in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Young's got four this quarter. He has adapted a way to use his body to shield defenders. That's bigger than him. Trey Young finishing through contact. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Paul kicks to Booker. And the Suns miss again. The Hawks trail by four. Herder passes to Young. It. Here's Booker. 11 points in the game. The pass to Bridges. Now Crowder. He dishes it to Booker. Over in the corner, Paul. Like it's six. And again, it's the Suns missing. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Yeah, and it's all evened up. Young's got 10 points in the game. You know, defensively, you try to do everything possible to get a hand up on Young's shot, but he just ignores the contact and plays through it. Now here's Paul. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Hornets in Charlotte, and that one drops for him. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Here's Young. Down low. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Young. If we get a break in the action now, let's take a look at the East and how the teams are stacking up. You look at the Hawks. They're sixth right now in the conference with lots of time to make a move. And you know, right now for Atlanta, they've made such fantastic progress this season. To see them so close to the top of the standings at this stage, what a surprise. Well, it's not surprising to them. Since day one of this season, these players and coaches have said they view themselves as one of the league's top teams. And it looks like they're right there. Here's Bridges following the basket by Chris Paul. Now, here's Capella. He's coming off a 10-point game against Denver. 
And we have to mention his rebound. It wasn't all about the offense. He battled his tail off down low. Now, here is Young after Mikael Bridges missing his last shot. Young's shot is off. Ball against Collins. Pass to Booker. Passes it to Bridges. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And the Suns lead by four. An awesome distributor. Booker's floor awareness and understanding of when to dish it is a real weapon. Here's Hurt. Nine points in the game so far. And finished off by Collins. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now here's Paul. Booker with no one around. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Booker's got 13 points. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Well, it is a long season. We know that. The All-Star break provides great, some respite. But how do you keep your body fresh as we're heading down the stretch here? Kevin, you, you got to listen to the training staff. I mean, first and foremost, teams are getting more advanced, measuring when players are wearing down and, and trying to protect them. All the tools are there. But you've got to take advantage. And the other thing is, mentally, you've got to be fresh. It's not just about your body being fresh. So sometimes you need to be able to shut the brain down in terms of the game and get your focus elsewhere. Torrey Craig, he's checked in for the Sun. Langston Galloway comes in for Chris Paul. The Hawks trail by four. Bounce pass Young. Capella kicks to Young. Here's Herter, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. I just love Trey Young's feel for the game. Oftentimes, he can see the play develop before anyone else. Aiton finds Booker. Here's Crowder. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for DeAndre Ayton. And you can see the surge in his level of confidence lately just by looking at that true shooting percentage. It's been moving straight up in the past five games. I think he's feeling it. First free throw is good. And both free throws good from Crowder. And here's Young. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. Capella dishes to Young. And the rejection by Aiton. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiton can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big zone. Yeah, and they're shooting really starting to pick up here in the second. And here's Young. He's got 10. Robbed up there for Collins. An emphatic LU jam. The agility, the hops, the great hands. Collins is the perfect alley-oop partner. To the inside, Crowder. And the rejection by Collins. And he recovers it. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. First one falls for him. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. Sharch checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Atlanta also making some changes here. Okongwu's checked in for John Collins. 
Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Hunter. And it's Williams in for Kevin Herter. The Hawks trail by seven. Here's Young. This one for three. Sharks grabs the board. In this first half, he has really fallen in love with the three. So far, not paying dividends. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Now, here is Young. He's got 10. Pass to Capella. Outside, Williams. And stolen by Booker. To the paint. Here's Crowder. And Crowder brings it in. And for Jay Crowder, nothing has been given to him. He fights and he competes. Williams looking around with the shot. The offensive rebound. The shot by Okongwu. No good. Suns leading by nine. Shards with it. Okongwu covering. One forty-nine left to play here in the half. Inside. Here's Sharch. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. And the toughness Sarish provides is an important component. A physical, strong forward who does whatever is asked of him. This is his second trip to the line in this one. First free throw is good. So for the Suns, Johnson comes in for Crowder, and it's Carter in for Devin Booker. Then for the Hawks, Gallinari, he's checked in for Clint Capella. And Tony Snell subbed in for Young. Sharich nails them both. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to get to the line. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Williams shot is off. Suns leading by 11. Craig passes to Sharich. Here's Carter. Up and in on the layup. Carter's got four points this quarter. Here's Williams. 114 left to play here in the second quarter. Kicks it to Snell. And he can't stop the run as he misses. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Here's Galloway. He has five. Okongwu grabs the board. Okongwu's now got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Gallinari. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got four assists now tonight. Took him a while to get going, but here in the second quarter, he's found his rhythm. Now here is Carter. He kicks it to Galloway. Here's Sharch, and the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And the anticipation of Sarich, outstanding that stayed engaged and just eating up those rebounds. Now Williams, with two seconds left, he hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And so it's the Phoenix Suns. Holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Boy, what a crowd joining us here for our halftime report. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel Shaquille O'Neal. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He had 16 points, four assists, and one rebound. 
coming off a great performance last game. Tonight, he looked like he had that same aggressive mindset. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Suns. Three-point shot was their best friend. I agree with the strategy. When it's working, take advantage of it. I don't really like it. Live by the jumper, die by the jumper. But tonight, they're living and they're living good, baby. And Kenny, what you think about Atlanta? Well, they wouldn't have been in his biggest hole if they weren't. They rebounded them. They've got out of hustle, down low, and it cost them some points. They'll be talking about that in the locker room for sure. They know they need to improve on the glass. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate, to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And on the floor for Nate McMillan starting the second half. Hunter at the three with Collins at the four. Young and Herter make up the back. And it's Capella in at the five spot. Never want to shy away. Collins delivers as much contact as he receives. Now the pass to Ayton. Dishes it to Booker. Basket made. That gives him seven field goals in 13 tries. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Suns. Sharich. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Two shots. And that one falls from Sharich. Sharich nails them both. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. The Hawks trail by 13. Second half rolling along now. About a minute played here. And Young kicks to Hunter. The kick out to Young. Let's the three fly. Nailed from three-point land. Young's got 13. Incredible night for Trey. Has direct involvement in nearly every facet of this offense. Book around side. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. And Aiden throws it down. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Yeah, you you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Young dishes to Collins. And taken away by Paul. And here we go. Fast break. Paul's got it. Here's Bridges. With the second effort. Aiton. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Collins. And at seven foot one and 250 pounds, Aiton is a handful. Not easy trying to guard him without foul. Two 
the first one falls. And, and you see the raw talent Aiden has. An intimidating big man with a high ceiling and, and a desire to grow. And the Suns making a change here. Kaminsky's checked in. Aiton hits them both. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. The Hawks trail by 14. Young outside. Deflects the pass. It's blocked. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Phoenix, no good that time either. Atlanta's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. The rejection by Paul. And I'll tell you, Chris Paul is sneaky this way. He has great timing. And Herter gets it to go. Herter's got 13. Working in that mid-range area, the analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. Also, if you can't get stops at this point, it really doesn't matter what you do at the offensive end. Atlanta with the ball after the Suns pick up two. Here's Herter. That shot is off. Good D by Booker. Suns lean by 14. Paul outside, and he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Payne, he's checked in for Phoenix. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. The Hawks trail by 14. Dang. Kevin Horter, a young player and a big part of this team's future. He keeps trying to add to his game. And the area I love that he's improved, I think the most it needs to is his ball handling. Doesn't have to only look for shots outside. He can attack the rim. He also is more willing to take the lead and transition and create for others. Here's Payne following the basket by Trey Young. Pass to Bridges. Poked away and stolen by Hunter. And they're moving it up. Pass to Herter. Pass to Young. Six on the shot clock. Another three for Atlanta. And that's his second triple of the game. Hadn't hit any in the first half. Maybe they made an adjustment at the break. Payne finds Kaminsky. Back to Payne. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Bridges against Young. Collins. And finish off by Collins. What I love about John Collins, he plays with great determination, trying to impose his will. Booker outside. Booker draws the double. Out to the wing. There's the pass to Bridges. And there's the whistle. That goes on Frank Kaminsky. That is his first foul of the game. Jay Crowder's checked in for Frank Kaminsky. Jay Crowder. The Hawks trail by seven. Pass to Herter. Hawks passing it around. In Atlanta again with the bucket. Kevin Herter has really exploded tonight, and his teammates are loving it. Hook around side. Passes to Payne. Let's a floater go. Aiton, the pass to Crowder. From down in the low post, it goes. Crowder's got 12. 
totally unselfish play there from Aiden. Sends the ball to someone with a wide open look. Now, here's Hunter. He's tightly guarded to the inside. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. He's got five. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Booker outside. Pass to Bridges. Now, here's Aiton. Kicks to paint for the three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Capella's got 11 rebounds in the game. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Aggressive inside. When Hunter attacks, good things happen. Love the initiative. So for the Suns, Johnson, he's checked in for eight. Langston Galloway comes in for Bridges. And it's Carter in for Devin Booker. the first one drops. DeAndre Hunter over three years at Virginia was a very mature player and he left with a championship under his belt. Atlanta making a switch here. Okongwu is checked in for Capella. Alinari comes in for Collins. Bogdan Bogdanovich he's checked in for Kevin Herter. Lou Williams is subbed in for Trey Young. Both shots good from the strike. Payne with it. Johnson outside. Outside Crowder. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. Jay Crowder, blue-collar combo forward, finds ways to outwork you. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. He misses the free throw. Atlanta making a switch here. Snell's checked in. And he sinks the second. Now here's Williams. There's the dish to Bogdanovich. Alinari outside. The pass to Williams. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. I love how competitive Lou Williams is. Always like seeing a small guard attack inside and draw contact. This is his first free throw of the game. Free throw good, Lou Williams. Another thing coaches love about Williams, he's a high percentage free throw shooter who gets to the line often. And both free throws good for Williams. And here's Carter. Outside Crowder. He kicks it to Payne. And there's the foul. It's on Tony Snell. That's his first foul. And Phoenix making a change here. Craig's checked in. Kicks to Galloway. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. Five on the clock. 
Phoenix needs to get off a shot. That three off the mark. Hawks have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. Williams against Carter. Williams dishes to Gallinari. For the tie. It's hauled in by the Suns. Crowder's got four rebounds now tonight. And Carter has it in the corner. Johnson, a wide open look. That's in there. Carter with the assist. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. And that kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here is going on. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. Here's Carter. The shot, no good. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Bogdanovich passes to Williams. Connects from three-point range. Williams has got his third basket of the night right there. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Pass to Craig. Johnson outside. Passes it to Galloway. It's Crowder on the wing. 13 points in the game. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Lane has gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Snell, that's good. Snell's got it all tied up now for Atlanta. Gallinari, very unselfish, draws a lot of defensive attention, which often leads to open teammates. Here's Craig. He's guarded by Williams. Craig kicks to Galloway. Good on the shot. Galloway has got seven points. Langston Galloway maneuvering himself around the painted area. Here's Williams. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Carter outside. Galloway the pass to Craig. Over Bogdanovich. Again, Phoenix. We've got 155 left here in the third quarter. Williams against Carter. Launches it. Another three for Atlanta. Quick feet, quick release. Hard to check Lou Williams from beyond the arc. And the Suns call time. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. So for the Suns, Sharks checked in for Torrey Craig. And Chris Paul subbed in for Carter. Atlanta also making some changes here. Clint Capella comes in for Gallinari. Young is subbed in for Tony Snell. 137 left to play in the third. They get it back. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to go on Onyeka Okongwu. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two shots. And that one falls for Johnson. Oh, 
And both free throws good for Johnson. 119 left in the third. Ball against Young. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Phoenix. They've led by as many as 14 points. He dishes it to Sharks. Out of bounds, Atlanta will take possession. And now that we have a second, let's take a look at the job these point guards have been doing since the All-Star break. Tremendous assist numbers you see right there. Second is Trey Young. And these are the best passers in the NBA. No question about it. Every one of them is willing and able to be the floor general out there and make sure. Oh, oh what a play! What a play! And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points, not necessarily the dramatics. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, didn't he? My goodness. The shot's good from Paul. The defense has to stay on Chris Paul. He has a quick trigger on the catch and shoot. To the middle. Here's Okongwu. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Hawks have hit all four of their chances so far in this one. One falls for Okongwu. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Paul against Young. Now here's Paul. Defense is right there. Ooh, the double clutch. Can't capitalize inside. It seems like he changed his mind halfway through the layup. Tried to go to something else and, and flat out choked it. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. The Suns on top, up two. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. They've got Sharic, Jay Crowder out there with Johnson. Then it's Chris Paul, and it's Galloway in at the two. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Takes the three, drains it from beyond the arc. Very solid shot by Langston Galloway, doing it at the pro level. A chance here to get a quick injury report. And let's get an update on DeAndre Ayton's injury. David, what's the news? Guys, I was able to talk with the head athletic trainer of the Suns, he said that he does have a broken nose. It's definitely a painful injury, but not a worst-case scenario. And, of course, that would be a brutal loss for this team if he misses any time as they're getting ready for the end of the season. Kevin? David, thanks for checking in. On top of it is all. It's interesting. Even with the advancements in strength and conditioning, 
Injuries continue to impact the game. And we're seeing that across all sports. Guys are just getting bigger, faster. The human body can take only so much. The shot. Johnson from outside. Rebound, Atlanta. Outside, Bogdanovich. The kick out to Williams. Capella trying to free himself up. They get it again. Rejected by Crowder. Jay Crowder didn't give up on the play. Tracking the ball, blocking the shot. His coach appreciates the hustle. And Crowder. Is it in. One sign of a great playmaker. Hitting his man in stride. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Some changes for Phoenix. Aiton, he's checked in for Sharich. Bridges comes in for Johnson. And it's Devin Booker in for Langston Galloway. And then for Atlanta, Collins checked in for Okongwu. DeAndre Hunter comes in for Bogdanovich. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Lou Williams. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Oldham. Kevin, I was able to listen in on Nate McMillan talking to his team. He's not happy with what he says are late rotations defensively against their three-point shooters. And then at the offensive end, he wants his guys to get their own shots within the rhythm and flow of the offense. Kevin? Okay, David, much appreciated. And he comes up with the deuce. Paul's got four points in the quarter. After a lackluster first half, he's taken charge offensively. We'll see how the defense responds. Bounce pass, Collins. Knocks it loose. Crowder with the steal. Ball outside. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. At his size, Chris Paul is used to getting contact on his shots. He has really spent a lot of time learning how to finish despite getting body. And Young kicks to Collins. To the paint. Here's Herder. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Strong move to the 10. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. The problem is your opponent is making big plays as well. I'll be curious to see the response. And that one's good, Hunter. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Phoenix leading by five. Look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And the dunk by Booker. Never a bad idea to run the old kick right. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Young's shot is good. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Phoenix Suns. They've led by as many as 14 points. Here's Booker. Almost, but it rolls out. The Hawks trail by five. Knocked loose. Here's Paul. And the shot goes down. Paul's got 11 points here in just the second half. And he's coming up big here in the clutch. Here's Young over Paul. And it's Aiton with the rebound. Aiton's got six rebounds now in the game. 
Bridges dishes to Paul. Good defensive work there by Young. Hawks have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Capella, the pass to Young. Six to shoot. Young is double. Here's Hunter. And the rejection by Eaton. From deep, Collins. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Eaton's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Bridges with it. And Young picks him up defensively. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Payne, he's checked in for Phoenix. Back to Bridges. Lock at six. Young. Bob pass to Capella. Here's Crowder. That's good from 17 feet away. And the Suns lead by nine. Typically, Jay Crowder doesn't take a lot of mid-range jumpers, but looking right at home on that one. Young with the ball. Payne with it, and Young picks him up defensively. Here's Booker. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And now it's an 11-point Phoenix lead. And this is how you convert in transition. Booker running the floor well and being rewarded for it. Here's Young. Kicks it out to Collins. Back to Young. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Here's Hunter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Mikel Bridges picks one up. Catching the defender out of position, DeAndre Hunter, he can score at all three levels. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Suns leading by nine. Pass to Aiton. Kicks it to Crowder. Over Collins. A shot by Crowder, no good. Atlanta's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Young taking his time here. And the pass to Collins. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Fantastic move by John Collins. If you give him an opening, he will attack off the bounce. Phoenix calls timeout. Well, it's a player's league, but certainly coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Devin Booker. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. Coming into this game, he'd been having a tough stretch. We all know that, but not anymore. He's back at his best, and I think it's safe to say that slump is over.
Aiton finds Bridges. Over to the left wing. Payne with it. Young's there. Payne can't hit. Trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get him the ball. Down low and stolen by Payne. In the corner, it's Bridges. Kept alive, Aiton. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. A towering presence on the offensive glass. Aiton uses his height well to keep possessions alive. Capella inside. He's covered by Aiton. Pass to Crowder. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Failing to block out Jay Crowder, that's careless. He's active, wanting the ball more than you. Well deserved. Collins with it. Now guarded by Payne. Capella kicks to Young. And the rejection by Eaton. And they're able to recover. But they recover it. And they'll keep possession. Atlanta again, missing. It's Payne with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They've led by as many as 14 points. Bridges passes to Payne. Now, here's Bridges. Shot clock at six. No good from Booker. He started off solid. Had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep since. Here's Hunter. Passes to Herter. He kicks it to Collins. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 21 rebounds. I like that Collins time playing out, under out. control, reading the floor. Nice setup there. And the Suns call time. Yeah, he, he's shaking up a bit. No choice but to take a timeout and let him get some medical attention. Checked in for Young. The drive by Booker. And it's denied. When you watch Kevin Hurdle, he plays hard at the defensive end. That was an effort block. That's just staying in the moment, keeping with the current possession. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And it's Capella missing. Well, that alley-oop attempt, a case of what could have been, just didn't finish the play. You know, this is something you practice over and over again. I'm surprised they couldn't execute. The drive by Booker, and there's the foul on Jake Crowder. That is his first foul of the game. The Hawks trail by 11. 158 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Williams, he gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. You see the toughness of Williams. Won't shy away from contact. And here's Booker. And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Here's Booker. There's 138 left here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at five. Good on the triple. Booker's got nine points now in just the second half. This is a guy who once scored 70 points in a game. Booker doesn't take much for him to start percolating. And with that, the Phoenix lead is cut down to 10 on the bucket from Williams. Oh, guys, that's an impressive spin move there. Didn't think he had a handle like that. 
Outside Crowder. Bridges, no one around him. Off target with his three. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Williams can't get it to go. Phoenix has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. And now as the clock ticks down, this is going to end up as a solid victory here for the Sun. Fewer miscues made the difference. Yeah, I mean, a great all-around effort. Not only did they minimize their turnovers, but kept the pressure up on D, forcing the other team to commit turnovers. And so checking out their record tonight, that'll mark win number 32 overall. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another go impressive go, 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 performance. Go, go. It was a big time outing for Devin Booker. Throughout the night, he was their catalyst at the offensive end. Play after play was run through him with great success. Atlanta with the ball. So it's the Suns winning easily here. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the, the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, what does a win like this do for you at this time of the season? Uh, hopefully it gives us a little momentum. We got a tough stretch coming up. We got our back-to-back -back next week, so hopefully it just gives us a little momentum. We'll see if we can keep it going again. Thanks, Chris. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. See you next time.